in the mail. <laughs> okay, sit, sit. Good boy. Oops, I forgot to get one of the plastic things off. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Uh -uh. Sit. Good boy. You ready? Go get it. <laughs> it's so fun. It rolls. Good morning, friends. I hope you are well and having a good start to your day. Today, we're just going to get in the spring mood and kind of just do some festive spring things. I absolutely love this time of year. I love to see all the flowers in bloom. It's just so stunning. And I just really always love to kind of celebrate and get in the spirit of a new season because I feel like every season just comes with its own kind of joys and fun little experiences that you can celebrate so that's exactly what we're gonna do today I have a couple errands to run and we'll do a little shopping and I want to pick up some flowers for a flower or not it's not necessarily a flower basket but I have a basket hanging on our back door that I want to fill with flowers and then I also bought a birdhouse a few months ago well right when we moved in basically and I want to paint it a little bit and then we're gonna find the perfect spot for it so really excited about that I have been noticing a lot of little birds and it's nesting season so hopefully this birdhouse will provide a wonderful and safe home for baby birds I don't know we'll see I'm still doing a lot of research about when they nest and what kind of birds are in my area but I figured I may as well just put it up and hopefully one bird will find it for its home so We'll do that later and it's just gonna be a good day. So I'm excited to spend it with you. I was actually gonna film this yesterday, but I was in such a bad mood. I was just in such a funk and was not feeling it. I didn't feel like leaving the house or doing anything. And I just wanted to share that because I never want you guys to think like my life is so perfect and happy and just, you know, idealistic all the time because literally everyone on this earth has bad days or just like emotionally heavy days that you know sometimes the world doesn't see but you know when i am having kind of an emotional and bad day i really don't like to talk to anybody basically that's just kind of how i deal with it so i didn't but i just wanted to share that because i think it's important that you know that I definitely have bad days too, we all do, so that's okay. But today, we're definitely gonna make it a good one and enjoy this beautiful weather. I was bummed too because yesterday it was really sunny and happy outside, but today it was supposed to be cloudy and kind of rainy, but the sun is shining, so it's all meant to be and I'm just excited to spend it with you all. It's only 11 a.m., but I actually just warmed up some veggie soup because I'm quite hungry and I wanted to kind of eat a bit of food before I go run my errands so here is our sweet little birdhouse it is absolutely precious I purchased it from home goods in December and I'm so happy I did because it is just again so cute and such amazing quality and I won't be putting this under our porch or anything so I think I'm gonna spray it with this scotch guard because it's the water in sun shield so hopefully that'll help preserve it but it's obviously going to get very weathered with our Florida weather, but that's what it's for, right? It's supposed to just be out there and ready for the birds to enjoy. But my plan is I am going to paint the door the same color that our front door is. So a pretty little light blue color. And I just think that'll be really sweet for it to kind of match. And I'm thinking I'm going to put it right outside this window. So kind of stake it in the ground by those bushes. Unfortunately, I don't have the metal stake yet. I just ordered it last night from Target because they had the cheapest price one. It's still pretty expensive. I thought about kind of DIYing one, but I just want it to be really good quality because hopefully we will have this birdhouse for years. And I, again, wanted to be able to withstand the Florida weather, which is wild, especially in summer. Um, and I also was researching and they said that the metal stake is the best for the birdhouse because it's very unlikely that squirrels or snakes or any other animals can climb up. But if it's wood or other materials like that, it's easier for them to get up. So I went with the metal and it's not supposed to get here till Friday, but I will insert a clip of it once I have it all installed. Um, so you guys can see it, but I'm really excited. Before we paint the birdhouse though, I'm going to run over to Hobby Lobby. I went there for the first time in a long time, a couple weeks ago, and I showed you guys a little haul of what I got. And one of them was this bread box, which it is cute, but I am just not in love with it. So I'm gonna return it. 
And then I also have these two little candlestick holders that I'm also going to return. They had other really pretty candlestick holders that I want to look at and probably just get something a bit more natural looking and organic looking. Something about these were just kind of throwing me off. And again, I just didn't love it. So I'm going to return it. And then we have a couple other things that I want to purchase from Hobby Lobby. So that's going to be our first stop on our errand run. Hello friends, <laughs> so sweet. Yesterday we actually took a little trip to Starbucks. I've been trying to take Palmer on car rides whenever I can just because I want him to be used to the car and just like the car and enjoy it. So we went to Starbucks and I got him a little puppuccino as well, which is just when the baristas um, put whipped cream in a little tiny cup for your dog. It's really cute. But I haven't been giving him, like he still has the puppuccino because we only gave him like a few licks because it's definitely not the most nutritious thing for your dog. It's definitely a special treat. So we didn't want to give it to him all at once and have like sugar overload. So I'm gonna give him a couple licks of that right now and I'm gonna take my leftover Starbucks for the road. What are we doing in here? What are we doing? Every time I open the fridge, he gets excited because throughout the day, like I'll give him carrots and apples and stuff. So he knows he's getting a little treat. You remember this from yesterday? <laughs> he's already licking it. Okay. Oh, you're licking your lips? You're licking your lips? Ready? Ready? Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. Okay, that's enough. Did you get some, Aiden? He had it all over his nose yesterday. It was really cute. Oh, yummy. Was that so good? Is that so good? We can have more tomorrow. Little by little. Got to keep you healthy and strong. <laughs> A stranger in the night take a chance for some okay I am back and I found lots of good finds I'll show you the flowers I picked out later when we plant them I'll probably change to workout clothes because as much as I like this dress I don't think it's suitable for gardening so I'll change later and show you the flowers but this is what I picked up from Hobby Lobby first up is this cute little stool and it's actually labeled as a plant stand but I'm actually gonna use it as a step stool in our pantry I'm just gonna kind of keep it on the floor and then if I need to reach something at the top shelf then I can use this and I like tried to it's definitely not um, perfectly sturdy but it definitely is thick enough wood and crafted enough to withstand me hopefully and then I also got these canisters I mentioned this a few times but I'm doing like a pantry makeover later this week so I'll use those for this this one's really good for pasta so that's perfect and then I got this little plain onesie for my friend who is having a baby soon and I'm actually gonna customize it with my Cricut so I'm gonna like think of something cute to write on it um, and then I'm gonna customize that for her. And then I also picked out this bandana that I'm gonna customize for little Palmer. So not sure what exactly I'm, I'm gonna write on it yet, but maybe just his name. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of a cool color. Now is a good time to paint the birdhouse though. It's probably gonna take 10 minutes because I'm just doing the door, but I don't know, we'll see. I may need to do a few coats, but before I do, I thought I would make a little beverage. I have been sipping on this Starbucks from yesterday, but I have added so much ice to it because I, I sipped on it all throughout the day yesterday and added ice just as I went on and then also today. So it's very watery, even though it looks like pretty kind of a caramel color still, it just tastes kind of watery. So I'm gonna blend it with some leftover morning coffee and maybe some cold brew. So it'll be a little refreshed iced coffee time. Brandon's at his office today, so no iced coffee time for him, but I'll give Palmer some ice biscuits. That's what we call ice cubes. One of you guys commented that or sent that to me on Instagram and I thought it was the cutest thing. So I adopted it. Thank you so much for that suggestion. And then I just got this really tall package in the mail and this is from Lowe's. I ordered a faux olive tree, which I, I like to say I have kind of an aversion to fake plants because I just love real greenery and you know it has so many benefits like 
freshening up the air when you have real life plants but I do have so many real plants and it was hard for me to find a real olive tree and I'm not sure how it would do inside the house so I ordered one from Lowe's it has amazing reviews so we'll unbox it soon and then I also want to look online to find a pot for it so let's do a little unboxing Okay, here is the olive tree. I actually think it looks really amazing. They did a super great job of making it look real, especially with the whole branches because they look like real wood. So I am very happy with this purchase. And like I said, I just wanna find a good pot. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put this in our master bedroom. I have to play around with it, but I think that'd be nice to kind of add some greenery into that space. I'm washing our comforter so our bed's kind of a mess, but I think this potentially could be cute. It's hard to say without the pot and without like some other elements of our bedroom, but I like it. Adds some kind of freshness, but obviously it'll be very low maintenance. Alrighty, here we go. This is the blue paint color. It's from Florida Paints and it's a super light blue. I'm pretty sure it's called Water Droplet. So I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. Also, I brought this basket out because this is on our front door and I actually made this on a vlog about a month ago, but I am having a little problem with it. It's been great. I think it is absolutely adorable, but this jade succulent, it keeps falling out. So not very often, like not every single time we close the door, but like, I don't know, once every other week basically. So I pulled out these little kebab sticks and I'm going to try to like stake it down later to hopefully make it more secure but I mean the plants seem to be doing okay they still look really nice this one seems a bit dry so I'm not totally sure but we'll see if we can kind of secure it a bit better because there's so much foam so it just doesn't have that much room to kind of settle in there but we'll see we'll play around with it and hopefully get it a bit more cozy in there before I paint I remember I wanted to spray it with scotch guard real quick While I'm out here, I may as well spray down the new couch we got. Okay, I did the first coat. I'm definitely gonna do another coat, but it looks so cute. I ended up doing the little entrance at the top for them too, because technically that is their actual bird door. So I did that and I think that looks sweet. And I'm honestly debating on doing the windows as well, because I just love how the blue is kind of a more detailed addition, but it's also not too kind of distracting or anything like that. So I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna do these windows as well. And then the ones on the side of the house. started absolutely pouring outside. I just had to go save my pillows. One of them <laughs> flew out to the side yard because it's so windy and raining so hard that came out of nowhere. It was perfectly sunny literally 10 minutes ago.
cozier pieces and I'm ready to plant my flowers. It kind of stopped raining. It's still a little kind of mucky outside, but totally fine. We can just do a little gardening under the porch and I'm already getting hungry for dinner. It's only 4 p.m. so it's quite early for dinner, but I did eat lunch kind of early, so I'm just ahead of schedule today. So we'll get cooking after we do our little gardening. Here is our setup. I ended up getting these super precious butter daisies. I think these are absolutely beautiful and they prefer a lot of direct sunlight, which is exactly what they will get. So super, super darling. And then I also got this dark Cora Kolonki. Kolonki? I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I'll need to double check on that, but it's really pretty and I love the yellow and pink color combo. Turns out you pronounce it Kalankoe, so. Kalankoe. Now we know. Okay, I added three of the kebab sticks and kind of just inserted them in different spots within this plant and it definitely feels way more secure. So I'm happy about that. And then again, hopefully it'll kind of create more secure roots and then I can take them out one day because you can kind of see them, but it's so not noticeable, especially if you don't even know they're there. I think it is totally fine. I can kind of cover it with the leaves a little bit, but I'm gonna go hang this on the front door and then we can start cooking some din. On the menu tonight, we have a cauliflower, a cauliflower bolognese, and I've never made a bolognese before, and I'm excited because it's actually, cauliflower is what creates kind of that meaty te texture. There's not meat in this recipe. Um, there is a dairy, so it calls for milk because bolognese is very kind of like thicker and creamier sauce for pasta. Um, but I'm just gonna use coconut milk, so I'll let you I'll let you guys know how that turns out because I don't mind having milk in recipes. I'm not dairy free or anything, but my thing is when I grocery shop, I don't like to buy a whole carton of milk just for one recipe because all of the rest of the milk is gonna go to waste. So if I can use like a coconut milk, which I use in my coffees and other recipes, then that is preferred. So. Hopefully that'll turn out okay. And it's a half-baked harvest recipe, which I just love her. I always love to cook her recipe. So I have high expectations. I think it's gonna be super yummy. So let's get cooking. This pasta is smelling so delicious, the sauce at least. I haven't even started cooking the spaghetti part. Um, but I have to say, I don't know what the heck I was talking about when I was talking about the milk. Like there's no milk in this recipe. Like not, it doesn't call for any milk. So I must be thinking of a different recipe. I have no idea, but I'm excited to eat this nevertheless. But just wanted to update you in case you're like, what the heck is this chick talking about? Sometimes I actually have wine in my wine glass instead of kombucha. This is just a nice Chardonnay to accompany our pasta. Dinner was so delicious. That easily is one of my favorite recipes. It is so yummy. And the cauliflower, I need to cook more with cauliflower. It's really, really yummy and so many great vitamins. So all good things, but today was such a fun day. My boys are just having a little training session. 
He's focusing. <laughs> They're just playing, getting some energy out before bedtime. But thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and getting in the spring mood. And I cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>